Hi, I'm Julie Ellison, gear editor of Climbing Magazine, and I'm going to show you the guides tip for this issue, which is how to make a backpack coil when you're coiling from the middle of the rope. So if your rope has a middle mark, you can obviously just start right there. If it doesn't, you can find the middle pretty easily by starting with two ends and just coiling or flaking as you normally would, and then eventually you'll come to the middle. So since I have a middle mark, I'm going to start there. And one of the benefits of this uh, coiling technique is that when you start from the middle and you flake this way, you actually move kinks out of the rope instead of into the middle of the rope. So what we're going to want to do, we're going to start with this is our first coil. And you can coil in your hand or you can coil over your neck. I like to coil over my neck because I have small hands so it's hard for me to hold the rope. Um, a tip for girls too for your hair, I know my hair sometimes gets caught, so I try and put my hood up. A helmet works the same way. So I'm going to go ahead and coil. You want your coils to be about two and a half to three feet. I'm a little shorter, so I like to keep short coils. That way when I'm sliding down, I'm not dragging big coils behind me or getting them stuck on trees. So what you'll also do is you'll kind of develop a spot on your body that you can coil to. For me, it's a little bit below my hip. So I'm going to start coiling. And they don't have to be perfectly even, but you want them somewhat even. And obviously the longer your rope, the more coils you'll have. And as you can see, I'm getting kind of to the end of the rope and see you can see these kinks in it. As I flake it out, the kinks will move out of the rope. So I've gotten to the point where I have about 15 feet of rope left, so that's when I want to start doing my wraps. I'm going to take the rope off my shoulders very carefully, kind of go in the middle, and then I want to even them up so they're going to hang evenly, and then you want to start wrapping. And you're going to want to start from the bottom and work your way up. So I'm going to get one wrap in there and then I'm going to move it down. And again, try and keep them pretty even. So you want to do about 10 or 12 wraps and then, and I have about seven or eight feet left. So the next move, I'm going to take the strands and run them through the top, just a bite like this. Don't pull it all the way through. And then I'm going to take the strands again and I'm going to run them through that bite. That'll keep everything nice and cinched up. So at this point, I want to keep this coil against my back. I'm going to lift it really high. I got the wrong coils, the wrong strand. Lift it really high on the back, like so, and leave it high because when you tighten it, it's going to settle down a little bit. I'm going to lean forward, back, cross the rope, like so. And then I'm going to want to tie it in the front. So you want to do a square knot. So you want to go left, this is my left, over right, like so. And then right, over left. And there's a square knot. And then you can finish with either, with these strands, just to get them out of the way, a barrel knot or an overhand on each side. I'm just going to do an overhand because it's quick. So, so those are out of the way. 
and the coils are nice and tight so when I'm sliding down rocks to get down they won't catch on anything they're not wildly hanging out so they're not going to drag on trees so this is the rope backpack <laughs>